What is going on guys, Tiswalfa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now, last time we left off, we actually went mining over in the mines of... Where else would we go mine? <laughs> but we, uh, we made it to like level 25 and unlocked that, and then we went all the way to level 29, and uh, eventually we hit 2 a.m., and you guys know what happens when we hit 2 a.m., we get knocked out, appear back at our house, and then lose basically all the progress. We're one level away from unlocking level 30 and uh, getting an elevator, like, teleport down to level 30, but, uh, yeah. I guess we can't do 10 levels in one day, unfortunately, unless we... Maybe if we go at the butt crack of dawn or something like that and just head on over there immediately, uh, we'll have enough time to actually go 10 levels in one day, but at least we unlocked level 25, so not, not that big of a deal. Also, explore that, uh, bathhouse over here, uh, or I guess the spa, that's what it's called up there. I don't know why I was question marks last episode, but now it says spa, but, uh, you know, the railway, uh, area up here that opened up, I think two episodes ago, whenever, uh, we got a random earthquake, you guys said, like, some rocks or something like that, uh, cleared the path over here, so now we can go over there to the spa, so, oh, and it's open all day, too, interesting, that's, like, the only thing that's open all day, uh, but you guys did also say, uh, in the comments, saying that the spa over there, like, uh, like, if you go over there, you replenish all of your energy, like, super duper quickly, so I definitely want to try that out, especially because right now I'm already at half energy, uh, so let's definitely go do that here in just a bit, because I'm like, it's just raining right now, I don't need to do anything over here, uh, I, I do need to get a little bit of energy back, and hey, maybe while we're in the area, we can actually try and get to level 30 in the mines, oh, jeez, especially because, uh, last episode, while in the mines, we did get this new sword, as you guys saw in my intro right there, what was it called again, the, uh, the forest sword, it's a level 3 sword, made powerful by forest magic, ooh, 8 to 18 damage, Two, uh, plus two speed, plus one defense. Now, our, our previous sword over here was a level one, so we went from level one to level three, which I'm not going to complain about one, but yeah. Steel small sword, level one sword, a standard metal blade, four to eight damage. Same uh, plus two speed there, but uh, four to eight compared to eight to 18. <laughs> Don't mind if I can do, right? So this is going to be a great sword. I, 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 not literally a great sword. I think it's just literally just a regular sword, <laughs> but uh, I think it's going to be a great sword to go up against all the creatures inside there. They're like the main things we've been worried about over there in the mines are those heckin' like flying like flies or insects or whatever those things are. The little li the things that the maggots turn into disgustingly. <laughs> those things are always the problem because they oh you can only hit them once and they fly away and then you have to wait until they come back. Like like the slimes nowadays aren't really that big of a deal now, but uh, those like fly things nowadays, yeah. They're pretty annoying, <laughs> so I definitely want to go over there this episode, and then uh, also last episode, I did talk about, like, zoom levels and stuff like that, we, we found out about these, like, zoom buttons, we have that turned on, I asked you guys, uh, what zoom level you guys like, and a lot of you guys said you like the regular 100% zoom, but a lot of you guys also said that you wanted me to set it to, like, 125, so... What I think I'm going to do is, you know, just a little bit, uh, 125 is just a little bit over uh, what we had previously. So what I'm going to be doing this episode is keeping it at 125, seeing what it's like. I, could, I definitely feel it's a lot more zoomed in than I'm uh, used to here, which I guess is good for you guys, especially if you're watching on like a phone or something like that. It's not going to be too zoomed out. Uh, but please let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this 125% zoom level, because I'm going to be doing all this episode, and I definitely want to see, uh, you know, if you guys want me to take it back to 100%, you know, zoom out a little bit more, or zoom in a little bit more, definitely want to see what you guys have to say in those comments down below. Let's see what the, someone else has to say over here in this mailbox over here, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got this letter because uh, Harvey, Dr. Harvey, uh, like, woke us up or whatever when we passed out last night, right? So, yeah, we had to pay 37 gold there. Not that big of a deal. Uh, that was 10% of our money, though. So, yeah, I'm like, you want to avoid that at all costs and whatnot, right? But uh, either way, we are still at half energy right now. We still, uh, speaking of energy, we have these energy bars right here, too. But I do want to, uh, oh, yeah, and then uh, I did get some comments, some people saying that these are weeds over here. Like, these these little, like, green peaches of patches. Oh, man, there's a frog. Oh, man, it just disappeared. Uh, but these, like, patches of green, grassy-type stuff, which I thought was just, like, tall grass or something like that. But I guess this over here is tall grass. Uh, and I was, I was purposely not cutting it down because I thought we needed it for, like, uh, animals and stuff like that, you know, whenever we have a silo and stuff like that. But, yeah, I guess this stuff that you can't walk through, this is stuff that you want to get rid of. And then this stuff over here, this tall grass, I guess we can keep this. I'm like, especially because I could walk through it, like it's not that big of a deal. Definitely want to keep that, right? So uh, either way, it's already heckin' noon, so let's hurry on over there to the mines, actually to the spa first, because I do want to myth bust whether or not we're actually able to uh, to replenish all of our stamina. And if so, how quickly? Because uh, we're already running out of time over here, you guys. <laughs> and we do have five uh, energy bars in our hot bar down there, so. Don't have to worry about that too much, uh, you know, whatever we're in the mines and stuff like that, you know, healing up and getting energy back and whatnot, but I guess if anything, the only, uh, problem I have with this, this spa over here is that it's, it's a whole process 
to go from the spa all the way into the or like you know from the entrance all the way down to the spa area down there it takes a little while but i guess once we get down there it kind of pays off because you do get full energy back right so let's see if that actually uh, is true and i assume i have to go into the water because uh 139 is not moving right now but now i'm in oh yeah wow look at that is it going up exponentially or at the same rate or i don't know i'm like it's going up so fast that we're almost full already just staying here for a i don't know like oh well i guess if you move around it kind of uses up uh or it stops it there but boom wow you guys were definitely right very good tip there thank you guys very much so especially whenever we wake up from bitten you know getting passed out or something like that at 2 a.m or something like that and we have like no energy in the morning definitely want to come over here to the spa refresh ourselves a little bit and open up our pores a little bit clean out our uh dead skin or whatever i don't know how you, you guys know what i'm talking i'm getting this is getting really descriptive and disgusting right now i need to shut up <laughs> But uh, you guys know what I mean. Get all of our energy back, and then uh, I guess we'll be good to go, and we'll be nice and replenished and re-energized re and ready to go kill some more slimes and maggots and whatever else we're going to find over here in the mines. Definitely want to go see what's going on over here. Uh, I do believe uh, that there are no events going on right now uh, on the calendar, so I don't think we need to go uh, check on that right now. I do believe the latest event was Jazz's birthday, which we already took care of, but I do want to, oh wow, wow, there's like pretty good like knockback or whatever you want to describe it as here. Ooh, oh, I already found the entrance down, nice, wow. This forest sword is amazing. We were already able to kill those flying bug guys in one shot previously, so you know, not that big of a deal, but those maggots getting like pushed back and stuff like that, plus two speed, uh, defense. I'm like, it doesn't say anything specifically about like knockback there, but it definitely feels like there's some sort of like knockback there, golly. And yeah, I definitely want to break all the uh, the tall grass slash weeds or whatever around here. So I go down to level uh, 26 already. Area is infested. Okay. So when we see that message down there, that that, that just goes to show, yeah. You do. Oh, did I just? Oh, I thought I two shot at that slime. Boom. Three shot at the slime. Man. But when you see the area is infested, uh, notification, yeah. The, you have to kill all the enemies. Uh, look at the top left corner. You can see it's got the uh, the skull icon next to it, level 26. So, oh, there we go. There's the flyer guy. So let's see. We just did 10 damage, 9 damage there, 13 damage to that one. Boom, two shining the flying guys. Wow. I'm like, if we get good uh, RNG on the actual damage output, right? That That's great. Oh, man, that one's already turning into. Oh, man. And then we get a rice shoot right there. Yeah, we tried to plant those last episode, but uh, you can only plant those in the summer, uh, in the springtime, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. Man, these rock, ah, come on, I'm going to have to get this guy out of a rock fort. There we go. Yeah, tink on him a little bit there with the uh, the pickaxe. Boom, got him, nice. All right, and then we have maggots over here, so uh, you know what? Bomb time. How do you like that bomb, huh? Boom. Oh my gosh, I love that. Let's kill this flying thing over here, too. There you go. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Two shot in those pieces of trash. No mind of I can do. And here's the final. Oh wait, no, I think there's a rock crab back there. And we got a piece of sap. Boom, boom, boom. Got him. A way down has appeared, and we got a cherry bomb out of that too. Awesome stuff. I am loving this sword, you guys. This is amazing. I don't know where the entrance down is. It's probably over here by the uh Oh, and there's no Diglett guy I had to kill, though. Yeah, I guess every time it just kind of appears by the initial ladder for some strange reason, but whatever. I'm like, do I even need to waste a bomb on these guys? I can kill them so fast, right? Boom, there we go, way down already. Jeez, don't mind if I do. Man, I need to, I need to go home and, like, smell all of our copper and stuff like that. Because we've got a ton by now, right? I'm sure we've got a ton. I'm like, we, we've surely got enough copper to upgrade our watering can. It's just that the only thing that, that's kind of holding us back right now from actually doing that is the actual money, because what do you need, like, $2,000 or something like that alongside, what, like, five ingots? Uh, five copper ingots? Something like, oh man, another way down right there, nice. Uh, but yeah, it, we just need to get a pretty good amount of money, but unfortunately, the, we're just waiting on all of our crops to actually mature and be able to harvest them and then sell them. And, uh, oh man, there's a slime right there. I didn't think that slime was going to jump at me like that, golly. But I, I am getting even more uh, copper over here, with, which is good. Not getting any iron, though. We have to actually hit, like, level 40 or something like that, unfortunately. So, oh, wow, one shot at that guy. I got, like, a crit right there. 47 damage on that thing. Don't mind if I can do. Oh, man, that's amazing. We got a slime trap right there. Eh, I'll skip out on him. Let's go down. I don't know if there's anything else right there, but, you know, a big barrel, like, areas. Oh, man, we're getting mixed seeds here. Perfect. And I think mixed seeds were one of the things that we lost. Uh, whenever we did get not oh here we go this is perfect for a bomb boom boom literally boom oh my gosh that never gets old there's already a way down right there too nice there is a minecart track over here so we can get a pretty good amount of coal 
from the minecart itself. I do know that nothing over here are worthwhile at least. So let's go all the way over here and uh, keep on breaking these like tall grass weeds or whatever you want to call that right there. I definitely want to try and get more mixed seeds so we can plant those down. Oh, wait, no, I don't think uh, we lost the mixed seeds last episode, did we? Because we planted them down. Yeah. Yeah. And then we, uh, oh, there's no coal there, though. Oh, I guess because we get the coal previously. But I, uh, I don't know. I thought the, uh, the mines, like, every time we came in, like, it just respawns. And you, you don't, you don't get the same, like, layout twice or anything like that. I'm like, I, I guess if anything, this does kind of seem familiar. I don't know. Maybe, maybe because we've been here before, it shows the same ones. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I, I'm trying to, like, figure out, like, how this works over here. But uh, there is a barrel up here. I do want to break this. Boom. There you go. Nice. I'm not getting anything out of that, unfortunately. Uh, we, we do our, uh, we're down a little bit on health right there. Sam is still doing absolutely fantastic or energy right there. So don't need to really worry about that at all. I, I guess we'll head down. I don't know if going down one of these ladders compared to the other actually changes anything. We are in level 29, though, and it is uh, 840 p.m. OK, so once we actually make it to level 30, I'm going to leave just so we don't have a repeat of last time, I'm especially because we got here at like what, six? four five something like that like pretty heckin late into the day so i don't i don't want to i don't want to waste any you know you know go down to like level 34 or something like that and then get knocked out at like 2 a.m and just have a repeat of last time right i definitely want to have a success this time around but uh god break the there you go trying to break the big rock right there there we go nice i believe right here is actually where we got passed out huh oh man oh what in the world is this blocked now is that ladder blocking my way out oh man there's another one of these bugs well, thankfully, it's not one of those levels where I have to actually... Ugh, white algae. Oh, wait, no, okay, I thought it was blocked. I was about to be really upset right there. I think there might actually be more uh, barrels and uh, crates and <laughs> literally crate and barrels and stuff like that over here, so... I might want to look... Yeah, see, there's a crate right there. Oh, oh, oh. We have the fog mist stuff going on right now, so we do need to watch out for any enemies and stuff like that. And yeah, remember last episode, we did have the... Uh, we, we did test out the new copper pickaxe. So we're actually able to break rocks in one swoop, which is really, really good. Or swipe, swoop? I don't know, a swoop of th I guess it is. Oh my gosh. Monster Slayer goal complete. See Gil for your reward. Whoa, I did not. I completely forgot about that, you guys. Yeah, I definitely want to go to the Adventurers Guild, but I don't know. What, what time are they closed? I need to check. Probably like midnight, 11 p.m. If it's 11 p.m., we might want to leave like right now, especially because we're on level 29 and we already have the way out of here. Uh, can I pull that up? Is it paused? I think it might be. No, 10 p.m. Okay, so it is too late right now, unfortunately. So that sucks. But boom, there you go. Got him. Nice. I think this, like, goes into a circle right here. So I don't think I'm missing out on anything right there. So now we can go down, unlock level 30, and actually, uh, I, I, I don't know. We're we going to get any loot out of this or what? Because it seems like, uh, no, I guess not. I, I guess we just go straight down and then that's it, huh? So I guess we'll just leave. Uh, there you go. Layer zero or level zero, whatever you want to call it. We'll just head on out of here safe and sound, especially with all the rain and stuff like that over here. I don't know, maybe maybe on our way back, especially because we got a successful mission right there. Uh, we do have a little bit of time. It's 11.20 p.m. right now. Man, it is really hard to navigate around here when everything's so dark, especially with all, like, it, I, I think it's even darker because it's raining, so, like, the soil is, like, a lot darker than it'd be normally, right? Uh, but I do want to go over here to the community center. and Oh, wait, no, not the community center, but, uh, like, in front of Pierre's area. Pierre's area and see if there are any quests, any missions. Oh, yep, there is one. Okay, so that's cool. Oh, wait, did we already get that one uh, last episode? No, I don't think so. The wizard M. Rasmodius wishes to study the arcane properties of the copper bar. You will be rewarded. Okay, so I guess we just give him a copper. Hey, that's a pretty good excuse for us to go home and smelt all the copper we have, because I'm sure we've got tons of that, right? 180 gold on delivery, and it makes the wizard happy. So, hey, don't mind if I do. Let's do that. And uh, while we're here, let's look at the calendar there. Yeah, just like I thought, there's nothing there. But uh, Gus's birthday is coming up, though. Do we know anything that Gus likes? Uh, whoops, that's the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. I do want to go see if I can go into anyone's house that we have a two-star relationship with. Pierre Jazz. Oh, wow, Jazz jumped, like, up really, really high right there, you guys. Especially because last episode we gave her a uh, present for her birthday, which is really good. Robin's right there. I, uh, does Robin live uh, up here with Demetrius? Uh, yes. Okay, so I... Well, they're closed right now, obviously, so I can't just sneak into their house at, like, heckin' midnight, so... <laughs> don't want to do that, but I guess maybe maybe in the morning we can go over to Robin's, uh, house, see if we can actually go into her room, and I, I don't know what we'll actually end up finding over there. Uh, maybe we could actually... Oh, man, maybe we can learn more about them. Maybe they have, like, a poster of something they like on the wall, and then we can gift that. I wonder if that's a... Oh! The world's that sound. I just heard something. It sounded like something just like fell over, like a tree got struck by lightning and like fell over or something like that. I don't know if you guys heard that too. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, 
y'all look at that. Wait, no, was that? Because I know I, I have been getting comments from you guys saying, hey, whenever you cut down a tree, I keep forgetting to actually cut down or up. Uh, oh, wow. Another frog appeared right there. Uh, you know, I cut down a tree, but I only actually like harvest the wood from the stump itself. Like the tree like falls off to the side and stuff like that, you know. So, uh, you know, all the all the materials kind of appear off to the side there. And I completely disregard all the all the wood and sap and stuff like that that appear to the side. I only actually get everything out of the stump. So I need to remember that next time we cut down a bunch of trees. Either way, we did get a level up right there, though. Level three on combat. So we got five more health. So what are we at? 115, I think. And then a new cooking recipe, Roots Platter. I'm like, all these recipes we keep getting, we can't even do anything with them because we don't have a heckin' kitchen right now, right? I still need like 10,000 or something like that to get that upgrade. So, pfft. I don't know. Speaking of upgrades, we need to do that from Robin, I think, right? So, uh, maybe we can go over to her house right now. It might be a little bit too early, like, literally right now, but uh, we can go over to her house and actually see, like, what's in her room, or, like, what's the, what's the actual actual reason why we want to have a good relationship with someone to go into their room in the first... I don't know. And then we have a geode right there. I didn't even realize that. We have a geode, so we can actually uh, go to the blacksmith, uh, especially because right now we don't have any money to actually get any uh, anything upgraded over there anyways. Oh, man, it's sunny right now. Hold on. Wait, what, uh, what was the, I feel like I looked at the TV yesterday, or, you know, last episode, or whatever. Yeah, okay, it's going to be sunny today and sunny tomorrow. Okay, not bad. It was a luck, but I, I'm pretty sure I, I don't know, maybe, maybe I was thinking something, I don't know, maybe there's, like, RNG, because I'm recording this on a different day than I recorded last episode, so maybe, maybe it's not raining today, because I'm recording it on a different day. I don't know, I'm confused myself, and you guys do. <laughs> the spirits are very displeased today, so, uh, yeah, they will do your best to make your life difficult. So, I guess it's not a good idea to go fishing, trash hunting, do anything. I don't know. Is there anything you can do on a... Oh, no. oh, hold on. I do need to get my sickle out, right? It looks like our wheat over there might be ready to be harvested, you guys. This might finally be the first time where... Yeah, see, we have the plus sign right there. Oh, and by the way, I went back to my footage and I figured out what everything is. So, oh, and these are the mixed seeds we planted uh, yesterday. Or, I, I, well, I planted them before I started this recording because, you know, I did all this stuff at the end of the last episode, so I wanted to redo it all. But this right here is, what is this? Where do I have that? I have so many things. I can't even find it over here. Okay. We have tomatoes here, melons here, blueberries, hops. I'm like, I don't know what any of these are. These are just, I think this is wheat, but I don't know any of these things because, uh, oh, this would be corn. So it looks like we have two things of corn right here. Look at my dog in over there. In the, in the grass, he's hiding in the grass. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> Look at that. Um, these, I assume that's what this is. That would be radish. Yes, these are peppers. And of course, this is wheat. So now we finally have an idea of what everything is over here. So that's good. Let's get our uh, sickle out. Let's not harvest anything over there, though. Let's see. Oof. Oof. There you go. I'm like barking over here, making like dog noises and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, oh, man, I'm getting mixed seed. Hold on. I think you, do you get mixed seeds only whenever you use the, uh, the sickle on this? The weeds and grass or whatever over here. I, if so, then I definitely want to keep using this, you guys. And uh, yeah, like I mentioned last episode or whatever, I did get uh, a lot of cotton. I mean, I can't see. I might be missing out on some. Uh, but yeah, you know, I've been getting comments from people saying, "Hey, go around like the perimeter of your base. You know, you never know what you might find, right?" So I guess if we can, we're already making a little bit of progress over here. Might as well continue, right? And uh, hey, and we'll get a little bit more mixed seeds and stuff with that too. So either way. We're on the bottom right corner right now, it looks like. Look at all the butterflies, though. Golly. I oh, wasn't... These rocks look kind of funny. I don't know if they always look like this. Look like they have noses or something. Look at that nostrils. Ugh. Like nose rocks. Like what? <laughs> I, th I think I remember getting comments from people saying, uh, I need not not the next, not a copper pickaxe, but whatever's after cotton. I, I, either a iron pickaxe, st uh, steel pickaxe, whatever's, whatever that is. I think we need that. To actually break these big boulders right now so uh oh wait no i was able to do that in the caves wasn't i uh oh well i guess i was able to break the ones in the cave but not these ones okay maybe these are just a little bit harder huh so either way yeah we're, we're clearing out a lot of land over here which is good oh man wow i didn't have to break anything right there nice uh but i am cleaning out a lot of weeds which is great especially because we have gotten messages on the screen uh whenever we wake up saying oh the weed infestation has continued in your base the garden weeds I don't know. I have to keep specifying it, you guys. I don't want to get my channel shut down over here, right? Talking about uh, literally uh, dandelions and crabgrass and whatever else. <laughs> I don't know, weed species over here. Hey, look at that. More uh, mixed seeds right there. Nice. Like, it's kind of weird because we're getting mixed seeds from weeds and stuff like that. So you think we're growing weeds, but I guess 
weeds are uh oh man there might be worms around here you guys like a little worm guys like you remember we got a heckin artifact last time we uh well not last time but one of the times so it might be worth uh actually finding some of those guys over here but uh I don't know, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, finding mixed seeds and like weeds and stuff like that and then planting them down and then getting crops and then eating the crops or selling the crops. Like, it's kind of weird uh, if you think about it that way, but uh, whatever. So we got this corner over here cleaned out. It's, eight, it's 11 a.m. right now. Uh, should I continue? Maybe? I guess I can. If anything, at least it cleans out a little bit of an area over here and I could actually, uh, you know, navigate around my base a lot better. Than I was previously, so that's good. Just because now we have the pickaxe, the copper pickaxe. I'm actually able to break things with one hit. Uh, these. Oh yeah, and then I did. I did get comments from people saying, uh, or like one person. I don't know. Uh, saying you know the grass that you could walk through like this. This does grow back. So there was an area. Where was it? Was it this? I think it was. Yeah, I think it was around this log. I remember specifically like around here, like using the sickle on everything around here, and it does look like it grew back. So hey, whoever uh, commented that looks like you are right. Uh, eventually it grows back. Maybe it takes a whole season to grow back or something like that. I don't know. Because uh, I do remember this being like completely bare for a while. But, uh, oh, it might have been because uh, we got that message saying, oh, the seed infestation or uh, weed infestation is continuing to grow around your base or whatever they said. Maybe that's why those are starting to grow back right there. But those aren't weeds, right? Those are just regular, uh, regular like, tall grass. I guess you guess you describe it as. Either way, we're almost at the bottom left corner of the the base right now, which is good. Just need to keep on navigating around here. If anything, we're getting a lot of heck and a lot, and I mean a lot of heck and fiber around here, which is good. But uh, I don't know what we're going to be using all this heck and fiber for. I do know. In the last episode, we did finally figure out that we had to use for all those pine cones and sap and whatever else. That's why we have uh, five field snacks right now. Uh, that give us, what, a pretty good amount of health, pretty good amount of energy and stuff like that, so... Uh, I'm, you know, when we're cutting down a bunch of trees, we actually have a use out of that, but I don't know if we have any uses out of all this fiber that we're picking up right now. I might want to look into that, but... We have discovered the bottom left corner. We've discovered all four corners of the map! Or, uh, of our four, uh, four farm. I keep wanting to say forest because it looks like a heckin' forest over here still. I bet... <laughs> I bet Stardew Valley pros... But before the end of their first spring, already have their heckin' farm completely cleaned out. Oh, what was that? I think it's a full-on tree I was trying to get down right there. But I bet a bunch of Stardew Valley pros have, a, have their whole farm completely cleaned out and ready to, like, uh, you know, place down crops and stuff like that for the whole area without having to be like, oh, it's already summertime and you still have weed infestations and stuff like that like me. <laughs> but I'm like, I am a noob with this. I only just started this game like what a month and a half two months ago or something like that we're only like 15 episodes in or whatever this is right now right 14 i don't know i, don't, I already lost heck of track but uh we are making our way to the top left corner so at least we're making a pretty good uh yeah see there's our uh, grandfather's like memorial right there so that's really cool uh but it is uh it's 3 3 a.m or 3 p.m golly what is it sunday hey, we have a new week so we can actually gift people stuff now so that's good uh actually get oh and yeah we have wheat didn't someone want wheat Oh man, I, well that's tall ground, well it's kind of in the way, but whatever. I think it was Demetrius, no, uh, was it Demetrius, who wanted wheat? Delivery? Uh, oh yeah, well, then we need to get the copper bar going as well. Pretty sure, uh, whatever it was, it, it probably expired by now actually, now that I think about it. So that kind of sucks. But uh, either way, hey, there you go, so we discovered like all four corners over here, so that's good. Went all the way around the perimeter, and this is already like naturally cleaned out anyways, because it's like near our base and whatnot, right? But not really that big of a deal. And I didn't even water my crops yet, but I don't think it really matters like what time of day you actually water your crops. I think it only really matters that you water your crops in general, so I don't think we have to worry about that, right? So either way, let's just speak to watering our crops. Let's actually do that. <laughs> Except for around here. We don't have to worry about that because we have the sprinkler. Uh, those crops specifically, those four crops right there, adjacent to the sprinkler. <laughs> it's like I don't know what that can, word means. But uh, those ones right there, at the very start of every day, those get watered by the sprinkler, which is the perk of the sprinkler. But definitely want to have a much more upgraded one to actually uh, take use of that. Now, remember last time we had an extra wheat seed right there. Uh, so let's definitely go... Uh... Wait, what? why are there like different wheats in my hotbar? Wait, what? Uh, but let's go plant the, down the wheat seeds. So we have hay. Oh, ooh, I have more. I have three hay. Dried grass used as animal food. Ooh. And then there's straight up wheat right there. So that's that's the good stuff. We have 110 fiber. We got a random silver wheat right there. What? <laughs> I'm not complaining about that. But let's definitely go uh, plant this. Then uh, we still we have nine mixed seeds right now. That's actually not bad. See, I'm like we have we have everything in order over there. So I, I guess maybe in this bottom corner we could actually uh man. Man, 
I don't know, maybe in this bottom corner, we could actually just plant a bunch of mixed seeds and whatnot, right? So, I guess we'll just uh, keep everything organized on top and top right-ish, then uh, on the bottom left-ish corner. That's where we can just plant pretty much anything else, right? So, anyways, let me just till some of the land over here so we can actually uh, use it for planting all these mixed seeds. Because we have a decent amount. We have, uh, we have nine right now, so let's actually plant them. No, maybe I'll plant them starting around the sprinkler, just so everything's kind of grouped together, right? Uh, but let's get everything over here tilled first. All right, so pretty much everything's tilled right now. Uh, I don't think we're not going to have any extra radishes or whatever this is, <laughs> at least right now. So let's actually plant down those mixed seeds. Uh, so I guess we'll just kind of do this. Uh, whoops, there you go. Yeah, you don't really have that much, like, reach or whatever you want to describe it as with this, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks. But uh, there you go. So we have, so you can see this little quadrant right here. This is going to be all mixed seeds. And let's actually water everything over here, make sure everything is nice and fed. There we go. And then I guess, uh, 6, golly, it's already 6 p.m. Am I able to still, I don't know if I'm still able to go to Demetrius' house right now. To see if we can, uh, talk to whatever her name is. Might be a little bit too late for that, unfortunately, but, uh, did we plant this? Oh, yeah, we did. Okay, so that's good. So, either way, at the end of, uh, every time we water a bunch of stuff, definitely want to go fill up our, uh, watering can and then put it up. That way we're not like, oh, I need to water things, and then I get the watering can in the morning, and then there's nothing in it. So, <laughs> let's definitely, uh, let's definitely put that back up. But then, uh, let's go inside, actually. And uh, I don't, it, it, does the wizard have, like, specific times that he's, uh, open and whatever? I guess not. I guess he can just go there any time. So, hey, let's go grab our one coal. Oh, wow, I've got a lot of copper. Golly. Hold on. 67 copper right there. I forget. Do you need four or five? I forget how many I need to get one ingot going. Oh, wait, was that five right there? Oh, I already forgot. I think we had 67 right there, but now we're at 62. So I guess it's five. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, we should have enough coal right there. That's not too bad, I suppose. So either way. Oh, yeah, then I get, I did get comments from people saying, uh, I need to, like, do something with all this, because I'm like, it is getting filled up right now, which, uh, there you go. Let's put all this up as well. And now it's heckin' full, so maybe I'll get another chest, maybe I'll start selling some of the stuff over here. We do have six hardwood right now, which is great, so we're uh, a little bit more than halfway to getting that done for the uh, community center. And speaking of such, hey, we do have summer foraging. We need to go foraging right now, you guys. We, we, we found a grape, we found a, oh, and there's a copper bar right there, perfect. Let's get another one going. Uh, but we need, what is it, sweet pepper, or what was it we're missing? I have it in my notes somewhere here. But we need to get one more thing for the summer foraging uh, bundle. Uh, Spiceberry, that's what it's called. I don't even know what that thing heckin' looks like, but I need to uh, actually get some. And of course, uh, go give it to the community center, and then we're going to get another bundle done, you guys. So that's going to be great. Uh, probably don't want to waste any more time here smelting and stuff like that. So I suppose we'll just head on over to the wizard himself right now as we have a extra copper bar right now especially because it's a timed thing anyways and i want to put up the sickle too i don't know i i, I shouldn't be arriving at his second place with a sickle looking like the heckin grim reaper he's going to wonder if i'm going to be taking his life or anything like that right <laughs> so either way thankfully we still have a, a little pathway right here that we cleared out and it is still yeah you can still walk through it so that's good <laughs> so let's actually head down and uh we still have this perimeter over here it's probably going to be like that for like one episode and then, um, it's going to be overrun with weeds by next episode or something like that, right? Just like the last episode, we got overrun by weeds, like, twice. Like, two nights in a row. Hey, look at this! We have, a uh, the pink pig guy over here now. Should I go see what, uh, what he sells? Let's see, how do I... Oh, they're not even there. They're just... I guess the shop only opens, like, during specific hours, which is kind of weird, because they're still just here, but there's just no one inside of it. Okay. That kind of sucks. Oh, yeah, and then, uh, oh, is this... We have something there. Pretty sure that's sweet peas, though. I don't think that's spice berry. What is that? Yeah, sweet pea. Yeah, see, I need to get spice, uh, what was it called? Sp yeah, spice berry. I need to find that. And then also, yeah, remember last episode, we did get a mission to find or to look for the mayor's, like, purple shorts or whatever. So anything that's purple on the screen is catching my attention. And, uh, oh, yeah, there he is right there. And, uh, yeah, if we can find that, it's going to be great. There you go, boom. Uh, speaking of purple, and there, are the, there we go. It looks like heckin' Mayor's purple shorts are on this guy's wizard's face there. <laughs> He's got a purple hair and a purple beard and stuff like that. Ah, the item I requested. Your work was satisfactory. Here is your compensation. How much was that, 175 or something like that? Uh, 180. Hey, a little bit more than I thought it was. And it's the final day, too, so hey, that's good. Don't mind if I do. And yeah, here's the one right there to find Mayor Lewis's purple shorts, so uh... I did get some comments saying it's probably going to be in a pretty heckin' de demonetizable place. I did also read a couple of them that were uh, spoilerish, uh, so that kind of sucks. But I didn't write it down in my notes, so I don't know where specifically I need to go. But I did. Oh, whoa, these. 
I don't think there's one. Yeah, those aren't worms. Oh, man, I was about to say there's like two of them like right next to each other. Uh, but people did say it's like apparently in someone's house, which makes sense because I, I, I've been exp I literally explored the entire map last episode, like everywhere. Like we were fully zoomed, like even more zoomed out than normally. Like we're normally at 100% zoom. We were at like 75% zoom, which is kind of crazy. Now, I do want to come down here because I'm like, we come down here all the time to forge stuff, at least during the spring. I don't know if we could actually find anything right now in terms of the sweet berries or the spice berries. And yeah, I still don't know what they look like, and it's not going to help that it's like pitch black right now either. So that kind of sucks. Oh, is that it? That thing? No, I guess not. Oh, I think that's just like tulips or something. I don't know. But you know, not tulips you could actually grab, unfortunately. These fireflies. I need to have like a swarm of fireflies lighting up the whole entire area. <laughs> what if what if daytime was literally just a bunch of fireflies lighting up the whole entire area? Like 12 hours a day, and it wasn't the heckin' sun. That would be spooky as a butt cheek, I'll tell you that much. But I, I, every time I see this, I think it's the worms that you could get with the heckin' whatever you call it there, but I'm, I don't know. I keep, maybe some of you guys are thinking that as well. Man, every now, now I keep noticing that. I, or now, now I say that, I can't stop but notice that every time. Like, I keep thinking, oh man, who's this? Who are you? Why are you out at midnight almost? Hey there, it's good to see you. Hey, at least we're getting some social stuff. Marnie, at least I'm getting some social stuff done, especially because it's Sunday. Uh, feel free to visit my. Feel free to visit us anytime you please. Oh, hey, don't mind if I do, and I might sometime. And yeah, I'm not seeing any more worms right there. You better go into. Oh yeah, Marty's right. Yeah, uh, I know. I know we have like bad luck today or whatever. But uh, yep. if I could actually find it, anything, oh nothing right there. Okay, nothing. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll just go to bed then. Any worms? No. No, oh, man. I don't think I, I I know I got like a hundred comments on last episode or something like that, but I'm pretty sure no one commented anything about like time codes saying I missed out on worms or anything like that. So I think that's good. And by the way, yeah, because we're zoomed in a little bit more. I remember this screen never moved whenever we went left or right or whatever, but now it does because we're zoomed in a little bit more. So that's kind of interesting, uh, which, by the way, still because you guys have watched like 30 minutes into this video so far. What do you guys think about the zoom? 125 percent zoomed in. Honestly, I like I could I could get used to this. It's not that big of a deal to me. If it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to watch, well, hey, I, d I don't care about that. It's not that big of a deal to me to keep it zoomed in a little bit more. And uh, it was the first 14 or so episodes. As long as you guys like it, then, hey, I'll keep it. And now my dog is sleeping on my bed. My, my real life dog does this all the time, by the way, literally sleeps like in the spot where I sleep. Like my scent is like caked into my bed or something like that. And he, he purposely sleeps right there. It's so cute. Either way, can I actually sleep whenever you... Oh, I can! Okay, so that's good. I don't think we have anything I could sell overnight anyways, but uh, there I go. Let's actually uh, go to the daytime now. It's 6 a.m. Let's check the uh, the TV, because we already know it's going to be sunny today, so we need to, you know, water the crops and whatnot, as usual. But uh, it's going to be sunny, clear and sunny all day tomorrow as well. Hey, don't mind if I do, and it's going to be... The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Don't mind if I do. That's like the first time this ever happened, so hey, not going to complain about that, right? Welcome to living off, living off the land. We're back at it again with another tip for y'all. Now, listen up. Let's talk corn. It's an unusual crop because it lasts for two seasons. Ooh, that's right. While most crop die, or crops, uh, yeah, my cursor was over it. <laughs> While most crops die when the season changes, corn lives on. You can grow it in both summer and fall. No, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, you definitely associate fall with like corn and stuff like that, right? Especially like Thanksgiving, Halloween and whatnot, right? Uh, candy corn and all that kind of stuff. Like, who actually eats that unironically, right? <laughs> but either way, uh, now get out there and plant some corn. I think we have some corn, don't we? Yeah, we have a little bit of corn. I don't know how much we have. It's right next to the hops and the radish on my notes there. So, yeah, we have two things of corn right there, you guys. Whoa, <laughs> watch out. I'm a corn farmer over here. Yep. Well, let's get our watering can. Full watering can, might I add. And uh, I guess we'll water everything over here that's not watered by the sprinklers, which is uh, pretty much everything. So, <laughs> let me just water everything manually real quick. And then I guess uh, whenever I'm done, we could actually go over to the blacksmith, open up that geode. Maybe we'll go look at the calendar, see what's going on over there. And I guess we'll uh, see if uh, we, we could like socialize with people, gift them gifts and stuff like that. I definitely want to do that, especially because, like I said earlier, it is the uh, first of the month. Or uh, first of the week. Well, second of the week. Oh, whoa, we have uh, peppers ready, though. Ooh, hot peppers. Nice. Uh, but, you know, because the week has reset, we can talk to everyone. We can gift them gifts and stuff like that now, uh, especially because... Uh, Haley already had like two like literal trash gifts and stuff like that. I definitely want to try and find some literal trash giver again today. So let's definitely do that. But 
We did get some peppers right there. I don't know if we need a... Uh... Oh, wow, we got a gold right there. I do, I do know we need some of them for the uh, community center thing. So uh, maybe I'll go grab a wheat and I'll go grab this pepper and we'll go put it in the community center. But for right now, I guess we'll just do this. Let's grab some wheat. There we go, one wheat. See, I don't have any room here. Uh, then we have a grape there. We have the sweet peas. I'm like, I guess we could use the sweet peas and the grapes to try and give to people. And then uh, maple seed. What was it? Maple seed, acorn, pint, something. I forgot what it was specifically we need to get those uh, field snacks, but I, I kind of want to make a good amount of those. Then I guess we can give Demetrius potatoes. I do know he likes potatoes, so I'll just gift him one randomly, I suppose. So, uh, put the gold peppers up. We have those. Copper pot. I don't know why I have that still. Uh... I, I, I only need one of them for the wizards, so let's put that up right there. And I guess we're good to go. Now, field snack. How do I make those? How do I craft them? Uh, acorn. Okay, I got everything right there. Perfect. Let's get as many as them, as many of them as I can. It's up to nine right there, so that's really good, you guys. Nice. We shouldn't have to worry about running out of uh, stamina or, any, or health, actually. Like, at all. Even though we're at half energy right now, might have to go to heck and spa already. But because we're not going to the mines or anything like that right now, or like today at all, uh, we don't have to worry about that too much, right? So there we go. And then we have a potato right there. So I kind of want to move those just so I know where they're at. And I don't, you know, forget about them or anything like that, right? So there you go. And then uh, there you go. Noise. So we need to put the, uh, oh, we have three peppers there. I'm like, I don't know if I want to give anyone peppers. I'm like, I guess we could just for curiosity's sake. Like, hey, does this person like spicy food or something like that, right? Then I definitely want to grab some trash for uh, Haley or whatever. I think it's Haley. <laughs> Let's definitely grab, uh, grab a piece of tra literal trash here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep giving that to her. I don't even give a butt cheek. I don't give a butt cheek if she hates us. Because she's a heckin' savage. A menace to society. I don't care. <laughs> let's go grab the other uh, sweet peas up here. And uh, let's go to the community center first. Just because it's like right there. If there's any other stuff over here. Yeah, no spice berries over here, unfortunately. Which, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, what are these right here? Why is there... I might have noticed this before. I don't know if that's like a heckin'... Like a bunny... Like hideout? I don't know. Do bunnies hide out in like little little burrows? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know if that's like something there because I can't walk on top of it. Like, the, or maybe it's just a rock or some of that. I mean, that might just be a rock. It's kind of in the ground or something like that, right? But either way, oh, there's, yeah. See, now I'm seeing them all over the place. I don't know. Another sweet berry or a sweet pea right there. No, no spice berries though. So that kind of sucks. I can't get any salmon berries, unfortunately. Even though these flowers kind of have the salmon color, which sucks. Really wish I could have some of my classic salmon berries by now, but nope. Guess I can't have any of those. <laughs> now, let's go over to the summer uh, crops bundle. Let's go give them a uh, piece of hay or wheat or whatever. That is, uh, oh, here we go, summer crops. Tomato, blueberry. We should have those done a little bit later, but a uh, hot pepper. Boom. And, oh, wait, it doesn't even need wheat. Uh, okay, I guess maybe, I don't know, maybe I could sell. Hold on. Let's actually check. Does anything, yeah, something needs wheat. What is it, though? Summer crops, no. Quality crops, no. Artisan, fall crops, animal bundle. Well, we are at that. Artisan. No, I guess nothing there. What is it? Bulletin board, enchanter. Oh, uh, fodder bundle from Marnie, the farmer. Wants 10 wheat. Ooh. Do we have that much? I don't know if we do or not. And then uh, three apples, uh, which we need an apple tree, but I'm like, it's expensive as butt cheeks. So obviously we can't do that. I don't even know if we can. Grow those in, uh, oh, what was this? Oh, I thought there was an exclamation point above the bulletin board, but I guess not. I don't even know if they can have exclamation, exclamation points above that bulletin board. Oh, look the worms, I see them. Oh, yeah, they're like wiggling and stuff too. Whoa, warp totem mountains, what? And we got clay. So did we just get a fast travel right there? And I can teleport all over the map now, what? I assume so. Like, I'm kind of scared to, like, potentially use it or something like that. Warp directly to the mountains. Consumed on use. Okay. I was about to say, is that a one-time use? It sounds like it is. I don't want to use it, honestly. Like, it seems like such a great item. Like, <laughs> when would you actually need something like that, right? Why? When would you ever need to actually teleport immediately to the mountain area? Which is, like, right up here. I don't know. And I'm not seeing any worms. Like, even though I have... Oh, yeah, let's go over here. Let's go see. Uh, yeah, there's Robin. Uh, I don't know where her room is, actually, but let's see. Oh, I can get... Hey, here it is right here. It's the only room I actually go inside of. So, hey, that is true. When you have two-star friendship with someone, you could definitely give a... Uh, oh, whoa, whoa. 
there's a bunch of carpentry magazines. Well, that makes sense. She's a carpenter over there. She's going to give us our kitchen, whatever we give her money. Uh, 10,000 specifically. Maximizing your second marriage and practical tips for the first time stepdads. <laughs> I guess, uh, oh, can I read? Oh, I guess I can't read what's on the top. Oh, yeah, I can. That was the same thing. Okay. Hey, uh, speaking of step stepdads, golly, I can't speak. Demetrius, I know you like potatoes. Zip. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. Now, we know about like and dislike and uh, what is it? Love? Is love the one that uh, some people like? Like, like you can hate something or dislike it. So there's like two levels of not liking something. I know there's two levels of liking something. Okay, so he just likes it. He doesn't love potato. It sounded like he loved that potato there, but hey, I guess not. Either way, uh, Demetrius. Yeah, he's at one star right now. Let's actually talk to him too. Demetrius is in deep thought. Hmm. Yes. This is indeed a potato. You can mash it, boil it, put it in a stew. Hmm. Yes, a potato. Hmm. I don't blame him. Potatoes are very intriguing, aren't they? Then down here, Sebastian obviously can't, uh... I, do I even have any friendship with him? I don't know. Let's see. Because I'm like, we're, we're failed every time we tried to give him a gift. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. We can't. I'm like, I need to actually speak to him more often as well, but I don't know. How many times do I have to do that to actually get one heart, right? And then uh, here's Robin. I guess for curiosity's sake, upgrade house. Yeah, 10,000 there, golly. And then I and I also need 450 pieces of wood on top of that, golly. I like, I am interested, but I can't I can afford it. And then, uh, was it the coop? Oh, the coop is only 4,000. Oh, maybe I was mixing that up with the kitchen upgrade. That was 10,000. Uh, but 4,000, I'm like, it's still a lot of money. 4,000 gold to get a coop for chickens, four, uh, four chickens I could fit inside there, and then 300 wood, 100 stone. That's doable, but, uh, oh, we'll demolish. I don't know what that is, and then move. Maybe that's upgrade right there. Huh. So maybe maybe in the future I could have a, a six coop, six six chicken coop. I don't know. Either way, let's just let's keep going. Around. Oh, there it is. Oh, my gosh. Literally right in my peripheral. When I was about to say, let's keep looking around, trying to forage for the spice berry. You finally can find it right there. Nice. See if I can find any more of those little worms around here, too. With the, uh, the teleportation totems and whatever else around here. And there's Willy right there. Like, I guess we're not that good of a... Or, uh, not Willy. Demi or, uh, not Demi... Cheese. Linus. That's his name. <laughs> I guess we're not that good of friends with him. Uh, because he said something not too long ago. That was like, oh... I don't remember what he said, actually. Either way. I saw... <laughs> I saw a heron waiting gracefully, or wading three gracefully through the morning mist. Such are the treasures of a quiet life. Hmm. What else do you have to say there, Linus? Hey, do you like uh, sweet peas? This is a great gift. Thank you. Hey, we're getting good relationship points with Linus now, so that's good. Hopefully he doesn't think that we're uh, a piece of trash, because that's what Haley is, and that's why we give her pieces of trash. Now, I'm not seeing any more bushes around here that give us like salmon berries right or whatever the summer version of that is i should i li i need to actually look that up see if there is anything like salmon berry but during summertime oh yeah and then i did what yeah i wanted to come over to the adventure but th they don't open till like four or something like that right if i remember correctly no two well then they are they're about to open i want to stick around here and then wait for them to actually open though maybe and eh, maybe i will and eh, it's 120 i guess we'll i'm like what else am I going to? I'm like, it's going to be like 140 by the time I pass over. Anyways, it's 130. And yep, see, it's 140. Hey, no promise again over here. You guys, it's kind of crazy. And it is 2 p.m. Yep, there it is. Okay, let's go inside. Right when they open. We want to talk to this guy, right? Because we, we killed a specific amount of creatures or something like that, right? So what? A insect head. Ooh, what in the heck? So as a gift for killing, what, 50 creatures? What was it? I forgot specifically what we have to do, but... We got an insect head, which is a level four sword, which is better than the forest sword. Not very pleasant to wield. Plus two crit chance. So uh, a little bit more damage. Eight to 18 on that, 10 to 20. So two uh, on, on the lower end and the top end. And the same speed, plus two speed. And so we lose to plus one defense and in return we get plus two crit. I'll take it. I'm like, we don't really have a choice. It's like a free thing. It's like a reward, right? Uh, Iron Dirk, Silver Saber, Pirate Sword, Level 2 Sword, Cutlass, 9 to 17, 
And then there's sne oh yes, I, I don't know. I guess we can bring the sneakers over here and then sell them to him. And I doubt we'll get anywhere near 500. I'm like, if anything, if we can get like maybe a few hundred, I'll still be I'm like, we found them in the caves, right? So uh, I guess I can't complain about that. Whoa, the insect head was 10,000. We just got it. Can I sell that? I can't. I can sell it for 200. This guy's making an insane profit. $200 and selling it for 10,000. What? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I can't even I can afford it. Uh, I already have the leather boots. I already have sneakers. Uh, Iron Dirk wooden blade. Oh, yeah, the wooden blade we had earlier was seven, three to seven damage. So we're saving. Well, whatever we have at home that replaced the wooden blade. I don't know what damage that does. But uh, yeah, definitely want to try out the four sword insect head. Definitely want to try out those and see how those are going to be. I'm like, do I do I want to head to the mines real quick? Test out the insect sword or insect head or like, how's this even work? Yeah, you just swipe it across like it's nothing like a heckin crab's claw or like a insect claw or mandibles, whatever you want to describe it as super weird. Uh, I'm like, do I want to go over there? I'm like, we were just in the mines earlier. Maybe maybe, maybe we could test that out next episode or something like that. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to have too much of the same stuff, even though we literally went to the mines this episode and last episode. And hey, Abigail up here, I know you like purple, so how about these grapes? What am I supposed to do with this? What? How does someone give you grapes? And you're like, what is this weird round purple thing? Like, is this like a weird gem? Like, uh, <laughs> what do I do with this? Like, what? Like, some of the responses we get from these people, like, it doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> like, just imagine, just imagine getting a grape and not even knowing what it is or what to do with it. Like, golly. <laughs> I'm like, I thought she'd like it because it's purple. She's just like an amethyst. Maybe she thinks it's like, oh, it's an amethyst, but it's like a false amethyst that some people wear if they can't afford a real amethyst. I don't, I don't know what she'll think in there. Either way, let's see where, what am I doing? Oh, it's a... What's the gold star one? But do we need? I'm like it is. It is shaking up there, so it does need spice. Spice beer. We already know that, but it doesn't need the gold star one though, because that's kind of it's kind of rare. I don't know if it. That'd be yeah, quality crops. Okay, so it doesn't. It only needs parsnips, melons, pumpkins, corn. Pumpkins, I assume you're gonna get in the fall, and of course, corn we can get right now during the summer or the fall. So that's good. So for this season, we need to get as many gold star melons as possible. So. If we get more melon seeds, definitely want to use those like, uh, what do we have? We have some sort of like quality, like fertilizer or something like that, that gives us uh oh, well, this is a uh, crops. I want to go to foraging, which is down here, right? But I do want to get, you know, as many quality melons as possible. So that way we could actually get, uh, yep, this is going to be the last one. And you guys did say, hey, if you do like these bundles or whatever here, you could use a gold star, you could use a silver star or a regular one. So that's why it looks like we could use this here and boom, bundle complete. There we go. But yeah, if we get more melon seeds, which we may do, I'm like, we have a little bit of money right now. We could afford it. Uh, definitely want to use those like quality fertilizers with it. So we get as many gold ones as possible or, you know, heighten our chances to get more gold ones as possible. So anyways, there we go. Rewards. What do we get? Summer. Hey, pff, we might have some melon seeds inside. There you guys. I guess if we know what like a baby, like a melon sapling. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa what's happening here? We got the safe room unlocked now or or you guys know what I mean? Like uh, we could do. Oh, yep, there it is right there, the giant safe. Interesting. All right, and this guy's delivering the foraging bundle to the little tree house. I, I still don't know what that would be called, but I am curious about this up here, though. And I guess we'll, I guess we'll just look at this, and then we'll end off the episode, because it's already nearing the 50-minute mark again. I wanted this to be I legit. We don't have any episodes that, like, the length of them starts with a, a three, so it, everything has been 40 minutes, 50 minutes, hour long. I wanted this one to be uh, on the shorter end as I whack the microphone right there. But no, uh, another 50 minute episode, it looks like right here, which you guys aren't complaining. I asked you guys like a few episodes ago, oh, do you guys like longer episodes or not? And some of you guys were like, yeah, we like the longer ones. Please make a 20 year long episode or something like that. Like, I don't. Is that person joking? I don't know if I can make a 20 year long video. I'd probably do it. But like it takes <laughs> I, have to, I have to spend 20 years recording and then who knows how many years editing and then upload like how? Ugh. That'd be such a crazy video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is like, wait, what is this? Wait, I could just buy bundles over here? 25,000. 2,500. 5,000. 10,000. Wait, what was it? Oh, gosh. Bus repair. Ooh, so you have to. So how much is that? 2,500 plus five. So 7,500. 
So 17500 17, and then uh, $42,500 to repair the heckin' bus. Are you kidding me? Like, how much do these heckin' shops, the repair shops charge? For, you might as well buy another bus for that kind of money. Golly. <laughs> Man. Like, I can't even afford the tier 2 backpack. Can't even afford the kitchen upgrade. Can't even afford a chicken coop, and you want me to repair a $42,000 bus? Like, jeez, these people are crazy. <sighs> Anyways, let's go down here. I guess we'll look at the, uh, the hey, look at that. We have another uh, quest or whatever right here. I guess we'll grab it real quick. Help wanted. I'm looking for someone to bring me 20 copper. Oh, we can do that right now to see if any rare gems are hidden inside. What time is it right now? 440. We can't do that today, unfortunately. <sighs> but $240 on delivery. Is that more money than we get from the copper ore on their own if we smelt them and then turn them into ingots and then sell the ingots? I don't know. Maybe. And then you can keep the ores after Clint's- Oh! You can keep the ores after Clint inspects them. Okay. So he just has to look at them and see if there's anything hidden inside. And if there is anything inside, and you'll keep them. And then I can keep the, ore, the copper ore. Eh, I can't- I can't get- it. If he finds anything of value inside of the ores, he keeps it and I can't. Which kind of sucks, but- phew. Well, I, I guess that's part of the risk. Maybe? I don't know. Either way, there's a the calendar there. Oh, it's Gus's bur- Oh, man. I don't know if there's- I think- Didn't we look at- Oh, yeah. I think we're going to look at it, but we got distracted by something else. Like, big surprise there, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He likes tulips. I don't know if we have any tulips, though. I'm like, maybe I'll- Maybe I'll give him up. We know he likes tulips, but does he like- <sighs> Sweet peas. Can I give him a warp totem? <laughs> I don't know. Let's go home real quick. It's Monday. He, he He's open late because he works at the saloon and all that kind of stuff. I guess we'll see if we have any tulips. If we do, that's great. We can give him a, a birthday gift. Like, yeah, basically, I can last minute. Like, I'm like, it's still during his birthday, but you guys know what I mean. Like, I almost heckin' missed it. I was about to end off the episode and all that kind of stuff right there. It's kind of crazy. Let's go. Oh, whoops. Let's go over here. Let's uh, see if we have any tulips. And uh, I guess we could end off the episode and then sell all these or uh, plant all these summers like we're probably going to have a full heckin area over there in the farm area one of we actually plant all those and we do have some tulips awesome so let's definitely give him one of those i guess we have to retire the forest four sword lasted an episode like literally or like not even like i don't know three quarters of an episode or something like that oh wait no this is speed grow i thought we had something that uh aren't you to, i thought we had something that give us better quality or something like that i don't know I thought we, or maybe we do, and it's still inside here, and I didn't move it out there. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, no, that's the basic retain. I thought I moved that. I guess not. Uh, oh, it might have been at the end of the last episode, and it didn't save. Either way, I guess we'll, I don't know. Should we put seeds? I, I, you know what? I will put seeds in here. It just kind of makes sense. I'm like, why wouldn't I put seeds over here? It makes it a little bit easier for us to grab them if we need them, right? But uh, either way, I guess we'll go over here and uh, put up, like, clay and whatever else, and uh, let's see. Put, yep, there we go. And we don't have any. Oh, can I? I don't know. Can I give a? Because I know Clint sometimes. You know, I'll give him. I'll give him the copper ore. How much do I have to give him? Twenty-five, thirty. But I, I think we have to do it whenever he's actually at the blacksmith place, right? Tw okay, he only wants twenty. So I'm like, I could do that. Let's give him twenty. There. You go. I don't know what to do with that. I guess I'll put that over here. Oh my god, I don't want to accidentally use it. Still haven't found Haley today, so uh, I guess. <laughs> She goes one more day without literally trash in her inventory. And then a sweet peas. I'm like, that's always good to like test out and see if people like them, you know? Uh, so I'll keep that in my inventory. And uh, everything else, I kind of want to keep in my inventory anyway. So that's good. Let's go over to the uh, saloon now. And then, uh, oh man, my dog is just having a nice midday nap. I don't blame him. Probably super duper hot. Taking all of his energy, just making a pant and stuff like that. Like he's probably in, be inside right now. Like it's probably super duper hot. He probably shouldn't be outside, honestly. Like, golly. And I'm surprised I still have a pretty good amount of energy. I'm like, most of the stuff we've been doing today is just walking around anyways, which doesn't require any energy, any, any energy, any way. Golly. <laughs> well, let's go down here to the saloon. Uh, he should be here, right? Either that or maybe come back a little bit later. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Don't we have good luck today? Uh, oh. Oh. oh, nice. Anything over here? Zip. Oh, whoa. Another broken CD. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> let's actually go inside and let's go give Gus the before I can forget, right? <laughs> Here we go. Come in, come in. Oh my, this is the first time I've seen him do that. Let's give him the uh, tulip. So here we go. 
Happy birthday! A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Hey! And let's talk to him normally. Can we do that? Good evening. Can I get you anything? Uh, I guess I can't do that right now. And of course, look who it is. Pam in her spot. Ask for more drinks. Does she have like a huge tab or something like that? Like, nothing like a sip of the good old stuff to warm these old bones. I'm like, it's Monday and you're drinking at 7? Like, does she, does she have a job? Does she do anything? Like, every time I see her, she's just in there drinking. Like, that's, that, that can't be healthy. I'm like, drinking in general isn't healthy anyways, but you guys know what I mean. Anyways, uh, speaking of stuff, uh, let's give Clint this makes me bu What? Huh? I'm so I'm so confused. <laughs> like, what do you even say about this? <laughs> he he literally has a mission to give him twenty copper ore so he can study him. <laughs> you find him, you give him copper. <laughs> And he tells you that, he tells you this makes him depressed. What? What is this game? Why are people responding to stuff like first with the grapes and Abigail and she don't even know what it is, don't even know what to do with it. And then now Clint literally asks for copper and he's like, this makes me depressed. Like what? I need to end this episode off right here. <laughs> like why in the world? Oh, I get. Oh, wait. I guess I technically gifted it to him? Okay, I guess that makes a little bit more sense, but still, like, why would a copper ore make you depressed? Like, seriously? I guess that's why he's going to the bar now, but... Jeez, I guess you have to go into his uh, blacksmith area to give it to him there. Or I guess maybe maybe the copper ore reminds him of work, and that makes him depressed, because it's, it's me time now, he's not at work anymore, and he's all depressed now. <sighs> Anyways, I need enough this episode like right now before it gets even more out of hand than it already is. So, uh, <laughs> let's just drop off. I guess the broken CD. Still need to keep that right there. Definitely want to keep the geode in my inventory so I remember to use that uh, next episode. And then while we're over there, also want to give him the 20 copper ore. Then, uh, I don't know what else we're going to be doing next episode. I don't think we have any birthdays or anything like that tomorrow, but we can always check the calendar and see what's going on. Uh, who knows, there might be an event coming on uh, later on this week. That's going to be something to look forward to next episode. But uh, for right now, I guess I'll just go to bed and I'll end off this episode before it actually hits the hour long mark. So, hey, there we go. And uh, there we go. Uh, I guess we'll end off the video right there. Like, I'm still so full. Oh, wait, hold on. Hey, the uh, what are these? So these were, yeah, these were the peppers. So these are radishes here. Hey, and we have a melon growing over there. Like a little mini melon. Like that little thing. You can see these got a sprout right there. It's super cute. <laughs> Either way, uh, we'll be harvesting these at the beginning of next episode uh, because it doesn't save whenever I end the video and then, or, you know, whenever I exit the game, it only saves like during the nighttime. That's what I'm saying. Golly, you guys already know that by now. Gee. <laughs> Either way, like I said, I'm super flustered from the, everything that went on today. I don't even know what's going on anymore, so I just need to end this episode off right here before aliens come down and abduct my dog or something. So, either way. Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. Because uh, like I said, we're going to be maybe looking at the calendar. Maybe there's going to be an event tomorrow or something like that. Maybe go back to the mind. Now that we unlock level 30, try and get to level 35 and test out this new insect head or whatever I hear. Because it does a little bit more damage and we have a more uh, likelihood of doing a crit and doing what double. Or, uh, I think it's double. It might be double. It might be triple damage uh, or something like that. Two critters. And, you know, we're already able to one shot pretty much everything. One shot or two shot everything. Now we might be able to actually one shot everything with those crit chances, uh, like heightened right there. So that's going to be really good. But that's going to be for next episode. So until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. <laughs> My outros are going to look ridiculous now. My intros and outros are going to look ridiculous. Waving this insect head with giant mandibles all over the place now. So, <laughs> either way, like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there. Oh.